Using the rule of nine, adjusting valve clearance, this uh, tutorial basically is for somebody who's quite a novice and uh, covers the maintenance procedures for uh, maintaining performance and it's, this is just a simple uh, adjustment that you can do to uh, make your engine run better. We're going to carry out the demonstration on the 200 TDI engine, however this does cover the 300 TDI and the 2.5 naturally aspirated diesels, petrol engines and the 2.25 petrols and diesels. This is quite common, uh, the rule of nine for four cylinder Land Rover engines. I'd advise at this point to get yourself a technical uh, data manual if you don't have one uh, and check on the valve clearances specific to the engine that you have. Later on you'll find a video that will cover uh, retrieving data, however if you don't have a technical manual have a look at the paddock website, there's um, some stuff on there under technical DVDs, uh, quite cheap. Rule of nine is a simple way to remember a sequence when adjusting valve clearances and this is what I'm going to explain to you. Simple sum, 1 plus 8 equals 9, and this is how we're going to remember it. Valve 1 and valve 8 will equal to 9. Similarly, 2 plus 7 also equals 9. 3 plus 6 equals 9, and 4 plus 5 equals 9, and so on, 8 plus 1, blah blah blah. Okay, if you notice, I've used a red line to divide two halves, and you'll see in the demonstration that's coming up why I've put a line in the middle. This formula applies only to four cylinder engines that have eight valves, meaning two valves per cylinder, and is not to be confused with adjusting valve clearances on the rock. This generally applies to cross flow engines, and the engines we're talking about here are not cross flow. Excuse the crude drawing of a <coughs> four cylinder engine, but basically what we're looking at, front of the engine, left hand side. Red arrow is pointing to a valve which is numbered. So we have four cylinder engine. One, two, three, four is your first four valves. And five, six, seven, eight is the second bank of valves. Okay, so we have to think of the uh, block in two halves, which will be one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. The rule of nine comes into play when you um, have valve number one and valve number eight equaling the number nine. Likewise, 2 plus 7 equals 9. 3 plus 6 equals 9. So you're getting the idea of the rule of 9 at the moment. And 4 plus 5 again equals 9. Okay, so translating this idea, 5 plus 4 equals 9 translates really into 5 down adjust 4 or 4 down adjust 5. Whichever way, it will always equal 9. This is the rule of 9. So with the engine on the bench, what I'm going to do is explain to you, following that we're turning the crank round, I'm looking at 4 going down, and uh, compared with number 7, it's fully down, and uh, number 5 is actually up. So this is the one you want to adjust first. For this demonstration, I'm just going to mark them, and say they're adjusted, and uh, now what I'm looking at is number 7, it's going down, and corresponding with number 2, remember, adds up to 9. So, seven's down. I'm going to check number two. And this is actually quite right, it's got the right drag on it. I'll just mark this off. I'm using engineer's chalk here, which is uh, quite handy and it's not damaging um, <coughs> if, it, if you leave a little bit on it. So, I'm looking at number one and number three going down now. And uh, corresponding opposite to these. Alright, number one's down and number eight is ready to be adjusted. Alright, again, what you do is uh, adjust this and then remember that it's been done. I usually go around twice, adjust them first and then recheck them. Okay, so number three is on the way down and uh, corresponding to that, obviously, what adds up to nine will be six. So we'll adjust number six. Well, in this case, just mark it and check it. And um, you can see here, actually, this is a bit tight. This one's a bit tight, so that is going to need to be adjusted. You don't want to leave valves um, over adjusted, otherwise you'll have a problem later when the engine gets hot. It's the whole idea of adjusting valve clearances for the expansion of uh, when an engine does get hot. Right, so we're going on to <coughs> the next set, which is opposite, okay? And we're now looking at number 
five going down and number two going down and uh, number five was first so what you'll see is when you turn it just a bit more it just stays there for a bit longer open and it's on the back of the cam profile so you got number four here five and four make nine remember so that one's done you see as I'm marking them I know which ones I've uh, adjusted and uh, number two is going down as I said they momentarily stay before they start going up again and uh, you know that they're on the back of the lobe of the cam at that point so we've got two and number seven two and seven make nine um, I hope you understood what I was saying earlier because this is how it works okay so you have the first half of the engine and the second half of the engine you divide those and then you work your ruler nine you should be able to do all your valve clearances easily so we're looking at number eight and uh, number six going down these are the last two to do so eight and one make nine so number eight's down fully and number one's up okay or on the back of the uh, lobe of the cam and uh, there you go that's another one adjusted and ready to go I'll demonstrate how to do the tappets adjust them if you're not sure about this um, further on in the video just as long as you can get this into your head first um, you'll be well away alright so now we're looking at number six and number three okay so number three needs adjusting and uh, I think this one's a bit tight as well yeah this is a bit tight so I'm just marking it off this is only for demonstration purposes first so I've done the full set of valves alright that's a full sequence and I've wound the crank round twice so next thing to do is to well I'm wiping off the uh, chalk marks here but the next thing to do actually is to show you how to adjust the valves using screwdriver and feeler gauges the reason for adjusting valve clearances or the tappets basically is to maintain a working clearance between the rocker and the valve and this is to do with uh, um, the heat and expansion of the engine as it gets hot this reduces engine noise and it does maintain performance so the adjustment needs to be correct reason being too loose and you'll get poor performance a noisy engine and premature wear too tight and you'll find that the valves will uh, won't close properly you lose compression and uh, possible engine damage when the engine gets hot so now let's have a look at this the tools are required and this is a quick overview is basically a 13mm spanner, a stubby screwdriver and a set of feeler gauges these are my favourite ones, they're cranked and uh, the alternative is you could use a blade on the later TDI engines using this type of feeler gauge you'll run into problems because you'll have to bend the feeler gauge to get in there to uh, get your clearance and it's not very accurate what I prefer to use this set of personal choice is a cranked feeler uh, it's not obstructed in any way and I can get a more accurate measurement so rocker cover off first if you don't know there is a video on how to remove the rocker cover and then what we're going to do basically I've got the engine around the other way to the other demonstration this is the other side of the engine but whichever way you look at it number one is always on the um, from the front I'm making it look easy here winding the crank round you might have to lay on your back and do this or get somebody to do it while you're watching the valves and um, we're turning clockwise to see the valves go up and down as explained now the screwdriver is to hold and adjust the screw and to get the right clearance clockwise tightens the lock nut itself now there's a, an art to this because what you'll find once you you've broken it off you're going to use it to adjust okay either off or on you want to feel a drag on there and um, to feel the screw on here you've got to hold it while you nip the lock nut up you want to recheck to make sure that valve clearance is right okay you want to feel a drag on there if not crack it off and uh, readjust it again until it feels right spend a bit of time with it get intimate with it remembering this is done cold the engine is cold at this point not warm it's cold so um, you're getting the right clearance here once you're uh, once you're happy with it okay you want to be nipping it up and then 
I just give it a little bit of a feel to make sure it's all right and then carry on with the next ones okay so there you have it all ready until the next major service